by time. The wind begun to rock the grass with threatening tunes and low. He flung a menace at the earth, a menace at the sky. The leaves unhooked themselves from the trees and started all abroad. The dust did scoop itself like hands and throw away the road. The wagons quickened on the streets. The thunder hurried slow. The lightning showed a yellow beak and then a livid claw. The birds put up the bars to nests. The cattle fled to barns. There came one drop of giant rain and then, as if the hands that held the dams had parted hold, the waters wrecked the sky, but overlooked my father's house, just quartering a tree. I stand in cold gray weather, in the white and silvery rain, the great trees huddle together and sway with the windy strain. I dream of the purple glory of the roseate mountain height, and the sweet to remember story of a distant and clear delight. The rain keeps constantly raining, and the sky is cold and gray, and the wind in the trees keeps complaining that summer has passed away. But the gray and the cold are haunted by a beauty akin to pain, by a sense of a something wanted that never will come again. There trudges one to a merrymaking with a sturdy swing on whom the rain comes down. To fetch the saving medicament is another bent on whom the rain comes down. One slowly drives his herd to the stall ere ill befall on whom the rain comes down. This bears his missives of life and death with quickening breath on whom the rain comes down. One watches for signals of wreck or war from the hill afar, on whom the rain comes down. No care if he gain a shelter or none, unhired moves one, on whom the rain comes down. And another knows naught of its chilling fall upon him at all, on whom the rain comes down. Open the window and let the air freshly blow upon face and hair and fill the room as it fills the night with the breath of the rain's sweet might. Hark the burthen, swift and prone and how the odorous limes are blown. Stormy loves abroad and keeps hopeful coil for gentle sleeps. Not a blink shall burn tonight in my chamber of sordid light. Nought will I have, not a window pane, twixt me and the air and the great good rain. Whichever shall sing me sharp lullabies and God's own darkness shall close mine eyes, and I will sleep with all things blessed in the pure earth shadow of natural rest. Like the touch of rain she was on a man's flesh and hair and eyes, when the joy of walking thus has taken him by surprise. With the love of the storm he burns, he sings, he laughs, well I know how, but forget when he returns, as I shall not forget her, go now. Those two words shut a door between me and the blessed rain, that was never shut before, and will not open again. The rain made ruin of the rose, and frayed the lily into tatters, now the morn looks from the hopeless east with eyes forlorn, as from her attic looks a dull-eyed maid. The coreopsis drips, the sunflowers fade, the garden reeks with rain, 
beneath the thorn the toadstools crowd their rims where dim of horn the slow snail slimes the grasses gaunt and grayed like some pale nun in penitential weeds weary with weeping telling sad her beads her rosary of pods of hollyhocks september comes heavy of heart and head while in her path the draggled four o'clocks droop all their flowers saying summer's dead night and the down by the sea and the veil of rain on the down and she came through the mist and the rain to me from the safe warm lights of the town the rain shone in her hair and her face gleamed in the rain and only the night and the rain were there as she came to me out of the rain <laughs> 